little while ago, I described a VHF UHF FM handheld range tester. It's a bit of a mouthful, but the idea was it could determine how far your mobile or home station could pick up a signal from a handheld. And you could know that information without you being at home. You'd get feedback on your handheld, in this case a burst of carrier that would tell whether you've been received or not. It was very simple, just a transistor connected to the speaker connection on the set at home, along with a few other parts that eventually pushed the PTT button to give you a short burst of carrier. That worked well enough, but it is possible, if you've got the right gear, to have something even simpler that doesn't require any modification, components or soldering. The only thing is you need to have a handheld transceiver that's got both VOX, which is Voice Operated Transmit, and a very short timeout. For instance, only a few seconds. Both those criteria are met with even cheap handhelds like the Baofeng UV82. It's got Vox and its timeout is 15 seconds. The reason why we'll need the timeout, well we'll demonstrate that in a moment. The idea is that you have a receiver, it doesn't have to be a transceiver, it could just be an old scanner, and you hold it up to the microphone of your range testing transmitter. If audio comes through the receiver, then it triggers the Vox on the transmitter, and then it sends a signal. Because of feedback, that signal is then transmitted to the handheld that you're testing. The problem with that is it could create a feedback loop. That is, if this is transmitting, then this is receiving, and, of course, you've got sound from the speaker going into the microphone, therefore keeping the Vox open indefinitely. That's why you need the timeout on your transmitter that breaks the cycle and allows it to go to sleep again until you do the next test. Here's how it's done. On the left is a receiver, tuned to 434 MHz. On the right is a transmitter. Remember, the Vox is enabled, as is the 15 second timeout. Because I found the Vox to be fairly insensitive, you do need the speaker of the receiver hard up against the microphone of the transmitter, as much as you can manage it. In my case, this box of Sultanas helped. We'll now do a test. We'll apply a carrier with this transceiver on 434 MHz. Okay, we're now transmitting. There's a feedback loop, so that's why you hear the noise. You can hear that coming through to this rig and after the 15 seconds it stopped. Another thing I would suggest to avoid false triggering is to use a receiver that has CTCSS. In that way a stray carrier wouldn't be able to trigger the receiver and cause this to transmit unnecessarily. Just to do a test from the field to prove that it works, apply carrier and you can hear it. Here's another trick. I didn't think of it before, but if you did it, it would eliminate the feedback. That is to use split frequencies. In other words, this receiving 434 MHz and the transmitter of this on a slightly different frequency. It only needs to be 25 or 50 kilohertz away, or even on another band. That way, you won't get the feedback and you won't have this controlled by that. Of course, you'll also need to detune this rig in order to hear the altered frequency from here, or you could set up the same offset in here as here. 
So just to summarise, you need a VHF or UHF receiver, preferably with CTCSS decode, so it only triggers on signals from you, a transceiver that does VOX and has a short timeout, like 15 seconds or less. When you put the two together, you'll have a very simple range tester that could be useful for all sorts of experiments and tests.